Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is the eighth root of minus a, this is equal to 4. What is the value of a, given that a is not equal to 0? So let's prevent a solution from here. We have the eighth root of minus a, this is equal to 4. Now, we have that given that the nth root of a, this is also the same thing as a raised to the power of 1 over n. So let's start by applying this property from here. So that now, here we have minus a raised to the power of 1 over a. This is equal to 4. Okay? So that now, the next step from here, Let's eliminate this a, so that now we have minus a raised to the power of 1 over a by multiplying by a on both sides, so this is equal to 4 raised to the power of a. So in other words, a and a simplifies, so that we have minus a, this is equal to 4 raised to the power of a. The next step is to divide both sides by 4 to the power of a, so that here we have 4 to the power of a. If we simplify here, this is equal to 1. So here we have minus a times 1 over 4 raised to the power of a. This is equal to 1. Okay? So we have that. We have that a over a to the power of n. This is the same thing as a raised to the power of minus n. So let's apply this property from here. So that now... What we have here is minus a times 4 raised to the power of minus a. This is equal to 1. Okay? Now, the next step from here, let's apply the exponent property. Start that exponent e raised to the power of natural log of a. This is the same thing as a. So we can express 4 as exponent e raised to the power of natural log of 4, and this is the same thing as 4. Let's substitute 4 with exponent e raised to the power of natural log of 4. So we have, now from here, we have minus a times 4 to power minus a, this is equal to 1. The next step is to introduce the exponent property, so that exponent e to the power of natural log of a, this is the same thing as a. So we can express 4, as exponent e raised to power, to power of ln of 4, this is the same thing as 4. So let's substitute 4 with exponent e raised to the power of ln of 4. So here we have minus a multiplied by exponent e raised to the power of minus a ln of 4. This is equal to 1. Now, the next step from here, the next step from here, Let's introduce, let's multiply both sides by ln of, this is ln of 4 on both sides, so that now, here we have minus a, ln of 4, times exponent e, raised to the power of minus a, ln of 4, this is equal to 1, times ln of 4. Okay? The next step from here, we are going to introduce the lambent double function, the lambent double function, such so that if we have the double function of a multiplied by exponent e to the power of a, this is equal to a. Applying this function here, we will have the lambent double function. And this is, we are going to apply this function on both sides. So we have minus a ln of 4 times exponent e raised to the power of minus a ln of 4. This is equal to the double function of ln of 4 from here. So this implies that minus a ln natural log of 4 and minus a natural log of 4, this is the same. So... If you check here, this is the same thing as a, and also this is the same thing as a. So on the left-hand side, we have minus 
a ln of 4. And this is equal to the w function of ln of 4. Now, we can express 4 as 2 to the power of 2. So we have minus a ln of 4. This is equal to the w function of ln of 2 raised to the power of 2. So we find that ln of 2 to the power 2, this is in the form of ln of a raised to the power of b, which can be expressed as b ln of a. So applying this property, then here we have minus a ln of 4. This is equal to the w function of 2 ln of 2 from here. Now we have minus a ln of 4. This is equal to the w function of 2 ln of 2. Now applying the exponent property, exponent e raised to the power of ln of 2. This is the same thing as 2. Let's substitute this a. So we have minus a ln of 4. This is on the left hand side. This is equal to the w function of ln of 2 exponent e raised to the power of ln of 2. Close the parenthesis. Now, from this function, if you recall, we have that the rampant w function of a times exponent e to the power of a, this is the same thing as a. Let's apply this property on the right hand side here. So this is the same thing as a, and also this is the same thing as a. So from here, we have minus a ln of 4, this is equal to ln of 2. So, the next property from here, we can express ln of 4 as, here we have minus a, ln of 2 to the power of 2, this is equal to ln of 2. And we have seen that ln of 2 to the power of 2, this is in the form of ln of a to the power of b, which we can express as b ln of a. Applying this property, then here we have minus 2a ln of 2. This is equal to ln of 2. Let's divide both signs by ln of 2 and also here by ln of 2. So if you simplify here, we have minus 2a. This is equal to 1. So let's divide both signs by minus 2 and also here by minus 2. So that now... We have that a is equal to minus a half. Minus a half. So this is the value of a. This is the value of a. So the next step from here is to verify. Let's check. Let's check if this value of a satisfies the equation. Now from here, we can let 1 over a be equal to minus x. Such so that this implies that such that a this is the same thing as minus 1 over x. Okay? So substituting this back to the equation, if you recall, we end that the eighth root, that is the eighth root of minus a, this is equal to 4. The eighth root of minus a, this is the same thing, this is equal to 4. Substituting a with minus 1 over x, this implies that, remember this is the same thing as minus a raised to the power of 1 over a, this is equal to 4. So let's substitute a with minus 1 over x from here. Now from what we have here, a is equal to minus 1 over x. So this implies that minus a is the same thing as 1 over x. So if we substitute minus a with 1 over x here, this implies we have 1 over x raised to the power of 1 over a. Remember 1 over a is equal to minus x. Okay? So this is the same thing as minus x. This is equal to 4. So 1 over x, 1 over x, this is in the form of 1 over a, 
which is in the form of a raised to the power of minus 1. So here we have x to the power of minus 1 raised to the power of minus x. This is equal to 4. Minus 1 times minus x here. This is the same thing as x to the power of x. This is equal to 4, which you can express as 2 to the power of 2. Now, you can see that the base here is the same as the exponent. And the base here is the same thing as the exponent. So this implies that x is equal to 2. And if you recall, and if you recall from here, we are saying that 1 over a, remember that a is equal to minus 1 over x. So this is to mean that a is equal to minus 1 over 2. And this proves that a satisfies the equation. This proves that a satisfies the equation. So can you follow the steps? Like this video and subscribe. Country, like this video and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye bye.